Finally tonight, putting love to the test. You can say you love someone with all your heart and believe it with all your soul, but could a brain scan tell the real story? Cynthia McFadden plums the mystery of love with the help of one brave and adventurous couple. Is it possible to prove if you're really in love? According to anthropologist Dr. Helen Fisher, the answer is yes. I decided that if I, look, if I, if I looked into the brain, I could perhaps find out what's going on when people are feeling that intense rush of romantic love. Alana and Mike Clear felt euphorically in love at their 2008 wedding, but were alarmed to hear that 50% of marriages end in divorce. Would theirs be one of them? I kind of wanted to find out at the beginning of, of, of our adventure together whether or not we, we were right for each other. Mike proposed a radical idea. They would put their young love under an extreme test to see if it would survive. Okay, we're gonna quit our jobs. They set out on a motorcycle trip down the longest highway in the world, eight and a half months side by <laughs> side. Dr. Fisher would test them both before and after the trip. Dr. Fisher says she has had people say they were in love only to have their brains say otherwise. Would Mike and Alana's brains betray them? Take a look at their brains before the trip. The illuminated area here in the Romantic Love Center is glowing like a Christmas tree. And after the trip, Alana's still is. But while Mike's scan shows a deep attachment to his wife, romantic love for her has virtually disappeared. Might all this science ruin the mystery of love? Yeah, it's, it's a bit like the, the Groucho Marx quote on comedy, that comedy is like a frog, if you dissect it, it dies. Mike and Alana say they're still very much in love. Test or no test, even if their brains disagree with their hearts, at least for now. Cynthia McFadden, ABC News, New York.